good Sunday morning. I thought I'd just check in and do a little garden video. I've been having a late breakfast and reading my book, Waking the Witch by Pam Grossman, and enjoying that immensely. I was out here earlier. Did I pick anything earlier? Just a little bit of, um, a little bit of okra. And as you can see, everything's I think it's doing okay. It's um, it's pretty hot today. No rain since Thursday. My eggplants that I transplanted, while they don't look like super robust, they're, they're still hanging in there, which I'm happy about. And in fact, that one was even getting like, more blossoms on it, which I was surprised. My little volunteer uh, yellow pear tomato is doing pretty well. My epizote is like getting little seeds on it, so maybe I'll have more next year. There's that one too. And let's go over here. I'll show you my rogue pumpkin. That's where some mushrooms were. <laughs> I did get some cloth sensitized. I've got almost all my cloth sensitized to start doing um, some more fabric flags. There's my little rogue pumpkin. Just, you know, you can see how big it is already, which is cool. Tansy is starting to bloom. Sunflowers. There's some more little cherries that are starting. This was another volunteer. Let's see how you are. They're like grape tomatoes or something. Mmm. Ooh. Those are tasty. I need to dry some more purple shiso. I have a batch dried and I want to make some furikake with it, which is like a dry sprinkling mix, Japanese mix that you can put on rice or whatever. And I think I'll mix it maybe with some seaweed and some toasted sesame seed would be good. Maybe a little bit of salt. Oh, all my sunflowers, everything leans towards the sun because you can see I have all that shade back there. So everything out here kind of leans towards the sun. I've been seeing tiger swallowtails, lots of different kinds of bees out here. Um, I've seen a couple of hummingbirds, dragonflies occasionally, and saw my Tulsi. There's my St. John's wort, still hanging in there. Um, Tejete slucida, which is Mexican tarragon. Little zinnias, the hummingbirds, and the butterflies love the zinnias. Here. I'm gonna have to mow my lawn at some point, but it's just been so hot. View from this angle. I leave my sunflowers in basically until they're. I mean, I just let the birds eat the seeds. Sometimes squirrels get up there and gnaw the head off. My little um, white sage in there that I have to have potted up because I don't think it will deal well with the winter here. Bronze nettle has done really well this year. I still have some California poppies. Still have some daylilies. Here's my okra. And these little guys, I'm not sure how big they're, they're supposed to get. They're like little teeny tiny cucumbers, which are cute. I'm waiting, impatiently waiting, for my figs to get ripe. And next year I want to have this all, like, ready for uh, planting. If I could get it ready for planting in the fall, like, do some different, I want to do pomegranate, persimmon, different kinds of berries along in here, but it's a mess. 
I haven't done a whole lot because I've had a lot of back pain and stuff, so I've been waiting that out. Hey, Avery, what you doing? That's all my wood. <laughs> my chunks of wood back there. Avery, what you after in the Jerusalem artichoke there? Come on, let's go with it. Go with me. Let's go out back. Come on. Come on. Avery, come. Avery, come. Come, come. Let's go. There's my burdock, which has been blooming. Nice big burrs on it. Let's go. Secondary, secondary comfrey patch. I've got comfrey everywhere now, which is good. Oh, look at this pretty little um, uh, gladiola. Picked all the uh, elder berries, and I have them in the freezer, and I'm going to make some syrup. Avery, come. Let's go. Come on. This could be in a better spot, this chase tree. My tea. Avery, come. Let's go. Come here. My uh, morning glory is getting healthier here. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go out back real quick. We'll do a little quick, quick tour of the backyard, which doesn't have too much going on, but I did discover a golden seal out there, which I thought is gone. Want to come with me? I need to get a bunch of my wood chips out over here. What is over here that you're sniffing? I want to put the wood chips down there. I want to put the wood chips all over here. I've got a mulberry right there and obviously my grapes which are kind of out of hand. Um, my nettles too. I gotta cut back my nettles. More figs out here. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the spiral garden and I'm going to use the bricks someplace else because it just doesn't get enough sun here. And I'm going to take some of the big chunks of wood that came from down limbs and from trimming. And I want to make what they call a stumpery right there where you just kind of arrange all the stumps and fill it with compost and then plant ferns and that sort of thing. I still have to get at that. Ugh. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, this one's actually got some some berries on it. My other elder. First year, it's like holding on to berries. And this is where I discovered my golden seal that I thought was like gone. So that's exciting. I just oh, there's so much to do. And there's only so much I can do, and I got to do it myself because I really can't afford to pay anybody to do it but it's not super out of hand but I'd like it to be neater than it is I gotta cut, cut up those guys I need to get a friend to come over and spot me with my chainsaw I just don't want to be using the chainsaw by myself and I think that's it just a little little Sunday morning check-in and garden tour <laughs> hope you all have a good weekend